And I'm going to still keep these two points here. And I'm going to pass them inside of Grasshopper here. So, set one point, set one point. Very good. Oh, one plus one. Okay. So I've got the two points here in Grasshopper. Let's decompose the points. Deconstruct, sorry, deconstruct point, which actually gives me the coordinates separately. So now I've got x, y, and z coordinate for each of these uh, for for each of these two uh, points. And let's say I want to know which one is more to the left. For that, I'm going to measure which x is smaller. So I'm going to ask, is the x of the first x coordinate of the first point smaller than the x coordinate of the second point? And the answer is going to be either yes or no, true or false. So now the first point, this one, is is more to the left than the right one, than the other one. And when I move it here, the x coordinate of this point is larger than the x-coordinate of this point, which means that the answer is false. So what we can do is, we can make some, perform some action based on that. But as I told you, you never trigger an action within a functional language um, such as Grasshopper, you always pass certain data and you sort the data. So let's say if this point is more to the left than this point, let's draw a circle somewhere and if it's more to the right, let's draw a rectangle. So let's do this. Let's draw a circle which is this component and also let's draw a rectangle which is this component. And I'm going to put these points closer to the zero so that we don't have to change the defaults here and we are going to see it properly. So you see now I have drawn a circle, which is this one here. And at the same time, I've drawn a rectangle. Just ignore this uh, patch. It doesn't matter. So I've got both of them here. But I only want to display one based on whether this point is more to the left or this point is more to the left. I already have the condition here, I already have the boolean, but I need to make a decision or I need to process the data somehow based on this decision. And for that there is a special component called pick and choose and choose. Pick and choose, it's this one. You find it here. And it's got three inputs. The first one is the pattern, or actually the boolean that is going to trigger the result. And the boolean we have here, the boolean is the is the answer to our question: Is A more to the to the left, or is B more to the left? So is A more to the left? True or false? If true, then draw a circle. And here there are two more components, two more inputs, two more pins. So the first one is whatever should be passed out of this component if this is false. If this is false, let's draw um, a circle. If this is true, let's draw a rectangle. So now we know there is some curve going to be output from here. And I'm going to hide everything. I'm just, I don't want to see it. And let's have a look. Now, this one is more to the left. The answer is true. Therefore, the output here is going to be the rectangle because the rectangle is the one attached to true. Now I move it to the right and release and suddenly this is a circle because this is false and whatever was input into the zero is being output here from the right to the curve here.
You see what is happening? The most important part to, to learn and remember from this is that if you are going to make a decision always in Grasshopper, you first have to create the outputs for all the possibilities and then just process the data and pass the correct data to the next component. You have to do everything first, you have to perform all the actions no matter whether you, you actually need them or not, but you are then going to choose from the data that you already have which one is, are you going to pass to the next step.